hope everyone is having a good morning. Welcome on in. Hi, Lisa, check it in. Good morning. I hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome. Also, do I need to turn my music down a little bit? There it is, a teeny tiny bit. Listen, I love you, Katamari. Da, 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 da. And there we go. And Luna, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. All right, let me just make sure. I think I've got everything good. I think we're, I think we're grooving. I think everything is sorted. Got that posted. Got this. Got my, got myself actually logged into Tiltify so I can see things now. Hell yeah. Uh, love it when I can see what's going on. If I was to switch screen. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's me, the frog we made yesterday. Um, now, it, it is pretty much finished. Uh, it does have some channel point redeems. I'm only going to be using it for today or potentially tomorrow. Um, <laughs> the first one. Hey, thank you for making me happy. <laughs> so you can change the theme of the you can change the theme of the frog with using channel points. Uh, I have the ones that I made yesterday, as well as a couple of extra ones, like this one for instance, which I use the plates splatters and the outside of the stitching on the patches to make it look more horrific. Hell yeah! Zombie frog. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, we should have, I think it's all the ones we made yesterday and then three more? Maybe. Basically, yeah, yeah. Except for, I didn't do the, I didn't do my one again because I figured, oops, sorry. That was just me readjusting my seating. Uh, I figured that, uh, yeah, I, I didn't need to. That was one that I liked. I tried to do the ones people suggested and nobody suggested this, but I did it anyway. <laughs> I saw my opportunity and I took it. Zombie frog. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I hope you're both having a good day though. Welcome on in. Today we're gonna be we're gonna be rigging the octopus model. So uh, it's it's very similar to the frog model, just like a different animal. Uh, as we talked about yesterday, uh, I actually have a couple of things to say because I've updated a couple of bits and bobs. I need to properly update it in the Discord as well. But um, first of all, instead of doing three beauty model models, we're going to do two because we're gonna work on the accessories on stream yesterday. Uh, to yesterday? Tomorrow. <laughs> Yesterday in the future, we're going to work on the uh, the accessories. So we'll have two models that'll be put in the Discord rather than three. But to be honest, I think that's okay because the frog and the octopus model they were the ones that were like uh, suggested by chat, and the last one was just one that I was going to do. So like I can always do that at a later date, but at least we've got the ones that chat wanted. Um, mainly just because they ended up being quicker streams than I thought they'd be, and <laughs> oops, I kind of thought this would take like eight hours, and it took like three. Oopsie doopsie. It, it, I guess it's because it's like a simple model and like we're not going too hardcore and like a lot of the features like if it's not 100% perfect I mean that's kind of that's kind of the the experiment of it all huh so I'm okay with that <laughs> Plus they're free models and I don't think anyone's gonna complain about a free a free VTuber model a a a Hey guys, no one will complain if it's if it's like a little scuff sometimes, right? But we're testing it on stream today. There is one thing that I have noticed, but I really don't want to fix it. Do you see that? You see that the paint moves like a little bit away from the skin? I'm debating whether or not to fix that right now. <laughs> I noticed it. It's only on the very top one. It's very annoying. I think I know why it's happened, but but I'd have to redo all of the skins and re re export it and everything, and I'm just like ah. Ah. <laughs> so I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Um, we do have... Oh, that's the other thing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I need to talk about this a few times during the stream. So if I don't talk about it for a couple hours, you're welcome to prod me and remind me. Um, initially, we were going to have all giveaways done tomorrow live on stream. However, I have had one or two people reach out to me uh, who would, if we hit the giveaway, which we haven't yet, but if we do hit the $300, um, would want to be entered into the giveaway but are at school and I didn't think about that <laughs> that technically tomorrow is a school day uh, if you're if at university or college or anything like that you will technically be in classes uh, unless they've broken up but yeah so because of that I I'm still gonna do the stick of giveaways live on stream because honestly it's just easier to do those while everyone's here but if we hit the the big goal of $300 for the VTuber giveaway, I'll do it as like a Twitter giveaway. So basically you just like the post and that gets you an entry and I'll have that open for like 48 hours. That way people that would normally be <laughs> be at work or at school can also enter. I, I Yeah, that's honestly my bad. I didn't really think about that. I forget that people have uh, <laughs> commitments. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am a commitment-free frog, so I forget. <laughs> 
<laughs> so actually, uh, I'll update that in the Discord after stream today. Uh, I have already let a couple people know because, yeah, obviously, in individually. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I, I want to make it aware during the stream. I'm sorry, I didn't really think ahead there. Normally we do do giveaways where it's like you have to be here, but I think just because it is such like a, a high value giveaway, I don't normally do giveaways that are, you know, technically worth like 300 quid or more. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should probably do it through Twitter, just for that one at least. Yeah, so that's that's the plan with that one. Um, and that is just to be clear, that is only if we hit $300, which we haven't hit yet, so who knows? It might not be a problem, but if it is, it'll be a Twitter giveaway, not a not a stream giveaway. And I'll make that, I'll say that again tomorrow if we hit it, and I'll put it on the Discord as well. Yes, that way everyone will know. <laughs> oh dear. I'll get there. I think, you know, it's not really a proper charity stream unless there's a little bit of scuff, right? I think a little bit of scuff is important for a charity stream. Am I just going to be a horror frog forever? I will change my froggy texture. I, will, I don't want to be a horror frog forever. Horror frog is one of many options. Also, Scott, thank you for the, for the egg. I'm changing myself. I want to be... I want to be... What do I want to be? Mm, I want to be poisonous. Yeah! <laughs> Poison frog! That's the other thing we'll be doing tomorrow, is I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of a tutorial on how to use Nixer up so that you can do stuff like this if you want to. Um, what I will say that I forgot to mention yesterday, if you already have a VTuber model from an artist that isn't me, so like somebody else, you've already got a model from someone else, uh, it's normally worth just checking with the artist before you go changing all of the colours. Uh, the reason that it's worth checking with the artist ahead of time is just because it, it is a representation of their art and they may be using it for advertising. So for instance, if you've suddenly changed all the colours and it say looks worse from like an artistic sense it might affect them and their business so if you do have a VTuber model and you're you know if you're planning on changing all of the colors around it is worth just messaging uh, your artist and bigger and letting them know uh, so that if they say don't want to have people sent to you like that that's their choice yeah yeah uh, obviously I don't care because I've literally made this model to have its color changed but I do think it's worth mentioning because not everyone will be okay with it um, I think as well, if someone's put like hundreds of hours into their work, <laughs> you know, changing the colours of it in without mentioning it to them is a bit rude. <laughs> wow. 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 There's so much going on. Oh, this really thank you for the thank you for the party. We like we liked party. We liked party. We like we liked party. We liked party. We like we liked party. We liked party. Thank you so much for the party. I hope you're having a good day, Smitty. Welcome on in. Yeah, I did show enough some of the some of the color changing frogness. I did try to take people's, uh, 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 you know, uh, what you call it? Somebody wanted a poison frog, this is your poison frog. Um, someone wanted a blue frog, so we got a blue frog. Uh, I think, I can't remember if there were any other suggestions. Uh, the rainbow one I kept, uh, it's slightly different because I had to redo it because I, I did some extra rigging and then obviously took it back so it had to be redone, but it is basically the same concept. Uh, I have paint frog, which is like the cute version of the, uh... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's the cute version of the blood one. Uh, without the stitches, hell yeah. So we have paint frog, very cute. Just a frog covered in, covered in paint. He stuck his toes in some paint, and now he's covered. Yeah! I gave him a red belly as well, because I like the, the frogs with the, the... I think it's red feet, actually, but I gave them a red belly. <laughs> I should have maybe looked up a reference of the frog that I wanted. But yeah, we have paint frog. Um, I don't I think I want a cooldown. I think I want a two-minute cooldown, right? It's not super, super long. What else did we have? Oh, standard! You guys haven't seen standard frog! People did ask for a standard frog, so I made this. I think this is probably close enough to a standard frog. But yeah, here's your standard frog. Here, I'm just a frog. Just a frog. Nothing nothing too too spooky, just frog. Okay, standard frog. I think this is kind of what a standard cartoon frog would look like. <laughs> I gave it the spots though, because I do like the spots. And I gave it like a little ombre on the leggies. Just a little teeny tiny one. Yeah. Cute. And then, was there just the blue one, I think? 
think this is the last one. Yeah, with my mustache. So somebody asked for a Scottish one, but I didn't want to show any favoritism to, to, to a certain flag because I felt a bit bad. So instead I just colored it blue and white. And I figured you could use that if you wanted a Scottish theme. <laughs> It's blue and white, but it also kind of looks like a snow fog, and I like it. Your bus is late, honestly. Story of bus is life. Bus is always late. Is bus ever on time? <laughs> oh dear. At the, the last place that we lived, we used to have it where, uh, with the word with the buses, um, they wouldn't come on time and then they'd like skip the next one as well because they were meant to be like every 10 minutes. So they're actually quite regular. And then you'd suddenly get like three buses in a row and it's like, oh. <laughs> There they all are, and normally like the first bus would go straight past you because it was full and you'd get the second or the third But <laughs> there'd be like no buses for like tw half an hour and suddenly there's three. Oh dear. Luckily I never had anywhere I needed to like Desperately get to via bus, so I was okay, but yeah <laughs> they, they were a little bit all over the place. That was with the bus that was meant to be like every 10 minutes uh, Is this all of the frogs? I think this is all the frogs. Oh, we, ha we have rainbow frog again I should show you rainbow frog. You've seen rainbow frog because we had Rainbow Frog yesterday, but I have just slightly had to redo it. So it, it's basically the same. The colors might not be exactly the same, but it is basically the same concept. Yes. Ah, oh dear. You going to Oslo? Ooh, exciting. Oh, I hope you have a good time. Yay. Have a lovely trip. Stay safe. Ah, oh dear. Make sure you, you pack snacks. <laughs> I'm sure you've already packed if you're waiting at the bus stop, though, I guess. All right. Do you want to see the bean that we're making? It oh, actually. Do you want to see the bean we're making today or do you want to see an emotional video? <laughs> I have my emotional video for you. I should actually probably, again, for anyone who wasn't here yesterday, preface the stream. So we are raising money for Gamers Outreach Foundation. Gamers Outreach is a charity that does, basically it provides kids with specifically like hospital grade games consoles, game setups, uh, with different screens and different angles, all that kind of stuff. So it's a way of helping kids play video games in hospitals, even if they're in like having to stay in bed so that they can use VR, even if they're like, you know, very much mo like mobility limited, it's, they make a way of basically getting it from bed to bed and all kids can use it. And it's really, really cool. Not only that, they help kids get in contact with people going through similar situations. Maybe they have the same disorder, maybe they're having the same operation. And so kids can like talk about the, the, what they're experiencing and what they're going through without feeling weird or unusual and they can still get their socializing in and chat with people that will understand what they're going through so yes that's what gamers outreach do it's all about connecting kids via video games and helping you know kids who normally wouldn't be able to go and play a video game in a hospital to actually be able to do it yes it provides distraction and socialization and it's really really good uh, and we're doing VTuber Summer Slam so VTuber Summer Slam is the event which is raising money for gamers outreach by the way I don't know if you guys saw on Twitter but we have already raised over a hundred thousand dollars all of the VTubers taking part everyone has done an amazing job everyone's been speed donating <laughs> so big 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 thank you to everyone who has donated whether it be via my stream or via one of the other VTubers who are streaming for gamers outreach hell yeah actually I would be interested what the current total is right now I should be able to find out relatively easily because obviously I'm, I'm in it but yeah it's it's really really good everyone's been everyone's been fundraising up the Yazoo there we go very very oh actually that reminds me I also need to add the pin comment let me do that really quickly as well um, while streaming for gamers outreach because it's a charity for kids and kids may see the stream please keep chat pg there you go that should do it i'll pin that till the end of stream again we had it yesterday as well it's basically just keeping things pg because kids may be tuning into the streams or maybe seeing clips from the streams so yeah it's basically just avoiding swearing and avoiding like sexual discussions because it's just not appropriate to be doing that in front of children <laughs> yes Colin and Pride at the same time oh yee that's such a good weekend hell yeah enjoy yourself oh it's such a good song hell yeah so yeah, there's a pin comment. Oh yeah, I was going to see how much everyone has done so far. How much has the sunraising event gone? 123,000. 123,000 raised from day one. 
<laughs> so yes, everyone is everyone is doing really, really well. And I'll be honest, we're doing really, really well as well. We've already hit the majority of our, our milestones and everything. So for those who aren't aware, it means tomorrow we'll be doing two sticker giveaways on stream. We'll also be doing the horror game that wins the poll. So you can basically vote when you're donating on which horror game you want to see me play. At the moment, the Mortuary Assistant is winning. Little Nightmares is in second and FNAF is in thir uh, third. So at the moment, it looks like I'll be playing the Mortuary Assistant on stream. I think out of the three, that is the that is like the most jump scare. Well, no, no, because FNAF is pretty jump scary. But I think I think the Mortuary Assistant is more unique jump scary. Um, so it's not going to be the same jump scare every time. Uh, Little Nightmares, I think, is like the horror that stays with you. And then FNAF is like just jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yo, Shifty, yo! I hope we're doing well. We also unlocked the second special stream, which will be that chat will design my next VTuber outfit. Looking forward to seeing what you guys decide that I will be wearing for now. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, very excited. But we do still have two, two milestones to hit. So at $250, which we are getting actually very, very close to, at $250, I will stream Apex live on stream. I'll do it. I'll stream it. <laughs> I've always put it off because I'm really, really bad at FPS. <laughs> but if we hit $250, I'll do it. I'll stream it. <laughs> and then if we hit $300, I'll be giving away all of the art and rigging for an entire VTuber model. So basically making a VTuber model from scratch for one person. Again, if you weren't here earlier, I have just slightly changed that rather than giving that away on stream. I'll be giving it away on Twitter if we hit it, just because people have let me know that uh, if they're at school or work, they can't enter it. And it's like, yeah, with such a high value prize, uh, I probably should have it where people have a little bit of time to enter. So I'll be doing that one on Twitter. So if we do hit it and you want to be in a chance with entering that one, you're gonna have to be following me on Twitter. <laughs> but I will let you all know when they've posted it on Discord so at least you can go across. Yes. Ah oh dear. Morning, I'm in work. Oh no, you're fine. Good luck, Cthulhu. Good luck with your work. I hope it goes well. Anime Frogo, yeah. You can change the color of the Frogo channel points as well. It'll be for one day only because tomorrow I expect I'll be using the octopus model. But for today, you can change my frog colors. You can have a bit of an experiment. We have channel points, which will, which will change it. I think they're on a pretty short cooldown. I think they're on like two minutes. I still put a cooldown there because I didn't want people flicking between them too quickly. But yes, yes. That being said, I do like Rainbow. Rainbow is probably probably my favorite. Other than the horror one, just because the horror one's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think I think there's every- Oh, also the rewards, uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> there it is, there it is. <laughs> yeah, we have paint splatters, but you can actually just change the paint splatters to red. And, and, then, and then it looks like ketchup. I'm just a frog that's been rolling in ketchup, yeah? I'm a frog that's had an accident recently and I've been rolling in ketchup. Mm, mm. Ketchup frog, yum, delicious, exactly. Let me just quickly get up the list from yesterday because uh, I do have a list of some of the accessories we will be making. It's a limit to 10, but five of them have already been claimed. So we are going to be making a red spider lily. We are going to be making a mounted chibi Cthulhu. We're going to be making sunglasses, a, a lily pad with a lotus detail and a jester hat. Those are the those are the five accessories we've been making for the pack so far. I do need some fries. <laughs> I need fries so I can just be like bleep. With like my my like eye ketchup, just bleep. <laughs> or my eye ketchup. Yeah, I need I need that. I need that. That's important. Alright, let me just move my mic a little closer because otherwise if I turn the aircon on later it's going to be really, really loud. But yeah, so uh, this model will be available for download in the Discord tomorrow. Um, if you need a link to the Discord, if you want any of the models we're making, uh, let me get that for you. I think most people are probably already in it, but that, that's where I'll be putting them in Discord. It kind of has to be Discord because it's the only place that lets me drop files that big. <laughs> so it'll be in Discord. Ah, uh, dear. Roll, welcome on in. It turned out adorable. Yeah, don't worry. If you don't like the blood roll, you can actually change my, uh, my change the frog's color using channel points. <laughs> so if you don't want bloody fox, a uh, bloody fox, bloody frog, you can change bloody frog. Uh, but I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Now I'm blue and I have a mustache. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm a snow froggy. 
<laughs> it's a little easier on the eyes. Right, should we do our emotional video really quickly? So everyone, get your get your tissues ready. Get your tissues ready. I have briefly explained what uh, what Gamers Outreach does, but I do think that the video actually explains it a little bit better. It's only like a minute long, maybe like a minute and a half long. So it's very, very quick. Uh, but it just really well explains exactly why gamers outreach is important and why the work they do does affect people so positively. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing that now. He's had hard trials that I feel like a lot of people haven't really experienced. As a little kid, that's gotta be tough. There's research to demonstrate that play helps healing time, it helps reduce length of stay, it allows them to thrive in an environment when they're faced with adversity. Go-karts help make gaming possible inside hospitals. They're portable video game stations that are designed specifically to address the challenges in hospital environment. Each cart is equipped with a lift mechanism, a tray for medical equipment, the screen that tilts depending on a patient's situation, and the entire cart is manufactured with medical-grade plastics. They forget about what's happening in that hospital room. They can use it to distract from a painful procedure. They use it to make the day go by faster. You've just challenged a driver. Hello, I'm Megan. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Jordan. I understand you have Ellis Danlos syndrome, is that right? Yeah. Well, um, I do as well. Oh my gosh. Or a back brace, stuff like that. That's pretty similar to me, actually. I have a backpack all the time with my feeding tube, along with metal braces and things. Oh, there's a corner. <laughs> I suppose what helps me is to think there's other things about me, not just the fact that I have this condition. That's awesome. What a novel and brilliant idea. A kid cooped up in a hospital room, and a cart comes rolling in with a console on it, and you can play games. It's, it's great. The use of video and virtual reality software as therapy continues to gain momentum in the medical community. If I'm not feeling good, I get on Xbox and it gets my mind off things. I've created a community of friends that I get on and I play with every night. It makes me cry every single time. <laughs> I literally cannot watch that video. And it's like the one that helps explain what they do the best. <laughs> but every single time, I, it has never not, I have watched it like 20 times. Uh. <laughs> I know, right? Tiny, good morning. And Andrew, good morning. I hope you're both doing well. <laughs> like I woke up, I did not expect to cry. It's the bit where they're like, where they where they connect the two people for me. Like where, where two people with the same condition can talk to each other. And it's like, it's not like a pity fest. It's just two kids talking about their experiences with each other and relating to it. And it's like, hell yeah. <laughs> ah, it gets me so hard every single time. All right, let's put the Katamari Damacy soundtrack back on. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's just connect, like helping connect people like that is such, such a lovely thing to be able to do. Oh dear. But yeah, do be getting me though. <laughs> it's super sweet. It is. It's a lovely video. So that's what we're raising money for. So the money that we're raising is going to go towards funding more of the carts for more hospitals. Because as you could probably imagine, just having a couple carts per hospital that when there are like hundreds of kids potentially there, it just, you need more and more. Like ideally you need like nearly a cup per kid. <laughs> so we are we are raising money to fund more hospitals to be able to have more and more of them. And if in case you weren't here earlier, the VTuber Summer Slam after day one, which is by the way, this is a five day event. I'm only doing three days because we have people around at the weekend, but um, it's a five day event. On day one, we have already raised $123,000 to fund these carts. So I'll tell you already, thanks to everyone's generous donations, there are already going to be hundreds more of these carts in hospitals over the summer holidays so that kids that have to spend their time off school and hospital are going to have so many more games, thanks to everyone. Because it's not just funding the uh, the carts, it's also funding new games. It's also funding like new things to be downloaded into them so that kids can play a, a wide variety. That means it can appeal to a larger age range of kids. Hell 
Hell yeah! So you've already done really, really well. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. But I think the video really well explains like why it's so important and yeah, as, as a kid who grew up in hospital myself, uh, I never had access to video games. I didn't have access to anything really. I, if I, I, you know, the only time I had entertainment in hospital is if somebody brought it in for me. And most of the time when I was in hospital, I had such short notice that like there was just no way we'd like think to pack ahead to have anything like that. And so, yeah, I would have absolutely loved it if someone had rolled around to my bed or my wheelchair or whatever I was using at the time and just set me up to play video games for a few hours. That would have been amazing. So I'm really glad that now kids are having that opportunity to be able to have that sort of thing. I think I think it's fantastic. So yeah, big ups to Gamers Outreach and big, big, big ups to everybody who has donated so far. Very hecking cool. All right. Should we get into doing some work for the day? Because it has been half an hour and I do need to rig an entire VTuber model again. <laughs> and I think, I think I've emotionally prepared myself. Here I am, by the way. I am now the frog in the bottom of the screen here. I do need to move some stuff around a little bit, just so that, uh... There we go, so I can see what I'm doing, but I can still see you. Nice! <laughs> All right. So cute, yeah! So we're doing like a little octopus model, but it's kind of like, you know, so I have one of these plushies, which I'll be honest, I did use as a reference. Um, so they're like the plushies that turn inside out. I have one of them. I have like a purple and an orange one, and I love him. He's great. So I figured I'd use him as, as a reference. So he's got these little like, instead of like the long tentacle kind of legs, he's got like these little, uh, what do you call it? Like little, little poofy legs, and they're so cute. I love it. I think it's a really cute, a cute model. So that's what we're doing. Um, he has already got his eyes and mouth rigged. Uh, because I took them from the, the, the frog so that I didn't have to do them again because I did want them to be pretty similar anyway And his eyes can like blinky and stuff and get wider We also have it set so that his eyes will like go down when he's sad. That is all that I've done In this one in particular, you want to try one too? Yay! I love them. I think they're so cute All right in this one in particular though, I haven't actually put in all of the drop downs, so we're just gonna spend a minute at the beginning getting all of these done, I think, because I normally do these ahead of time, but I didn't this right time, and I'm sorry, I forgot. Also, Raven, thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. Welcome on in. I am a frog. <laughs> you could too be a frog. We could build a froggy army. <laughs> all right. Add a new parameter. I'm just gonna call them really boring things because it makes it easier for me to find them. <laughs> so that I have tattoo one, let's have maybe, oh, exciting, tattoo two. Uh, and these are just gonna be like on off switches so they go from a minimum of zero to a maximum of one. Ah oh dear, my niece loves that. Your niece has one as, oh my God, we're having an octopus army, hell yeah. I love mine as well. I love him as well, cause uh, he's a, I've got a big one and I can actually like put him on my head and wear him as a mask. <laughs> <laughs> because because the, the inside out hole switchy thing is big enough that it can fit my entire head inside of it. <laughs> so I can just wander around the house like bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> oh dear, Pancake! Pancake, good morning! I hope you're doing well. I am! Look, I could be I could be any frog that I wanna be. I could be I, I'll be a standard frog for a minute. Look. Ah? <laughs> I'm a frog just for charity. So the, the frog model that you're seeing right now, the one that I'm using, uh, that's going to be free for download in the Discord tomorrow. So if you want to have a frog model as part of your stream, <laughs> you can have this frog. I have, I have him with a few color presets, but you can also color him however you like. He's like a, he starts off, actually, he starts off like this guy, like completely white, like monochrome. And then when you go into VTube Studio, you can color him in and then he can be like whatever color you want him to be. Hell yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, the same here. You also can stick your head in the in, not the frog in the in the octopus. Hell yeah! Join Foggy Army so I can be sand frog. We don't have a sand froggy. We have a poison froggy. I think that might be the closest we have right now. But then again, you can always uh, you could always make him a a sand froggy. Absolutely. The ones that go. <laughs> oh dear, so cute. Yeah. I wore my head around the mall after I bought it. Aww, I didn't realize I could wear it until I got home, to be fair. I just cuddled him the whole day. I was like, I love this soft bean. This is my soft bean now. Uh, yeah, we need to add, sorry. I need to add all these parameters in because I normally set this all up ahead of time and I have not. And it's, they're all like unique. So I can't copy paste stuff. God damn it. It's fine, it's fine. So we have suckers. 
because this one doesn't have spots, it has suckers, which I think makes more sense for an octopus. Uh, one, and then we'll need ombre. They do still have ombre and stripes, of course, because it's very important that they have ombre and stripes. Uh, stripes. And then it'll have stitches and patches and paint, I think. Stitches. Oh, so many. So many. And this is without even all the physics settings. To be fair, the physics settings we can add as and when we're using them, so it's not too bad. I might have to join the frog I'll be one of us. <laughs> one of us. Yeah. Look at his little belly wibbles. He's so wobbly. Hell yeah. He's just a happy, chappy frog. <laughs> But yeah, you can colour him how you like. So I've made it so that when you download the model initially, he'll look like this. Um, so like, c completely plain. And what that means is that you can then go in on each layer. So for instance, I've got them labelled. This is ombre part two. You have eye sparkle, you have tent bottom. You can go onto all these pieces and colour them individually. Uh, and you can do that in VTube Studio. Yes. Sandfox is squeaky. I mean, super. Oh yeah, super scary, super fierce. Yeah, yeah, they're the ones that like scream, <laughs> but they're more like. Eep, eep. <laughs> uh, me like up and also whip. Oh hell yeah, thank you. Uh, I found my people. I always have a Nessie plushie on my headset. Yee! Oh dear, I have two whale shark plushies, but the the moment that my whale shark plushies are like keepers of the wool. <laughs> <laughs> they're like holding all of my wool in place with their bodies, so <laughs> they're my wool keepers right now. I will get a box for my wool. It's just because I didn't think I'd have that much yarn and stuff, and now that I have more, I'm like, shoot, I need a box for all this. <laughs> uh, then, then I shared the stream like you did this, but I can't. Oh, bless you, Raw. That's very heckin' kind of you. Thank you so much. Heckin', heckin' thank you. That's very sweet. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Warm, warms my cold, froggy, amphibian heart. <laughs> oh, together! Get a look, and frog. And frog. Oh, actually, where's... I don't want to be that one. I, I want to be... Let's be this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I call it a little pain. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, I, I need to add parameters. Uh, patches. Uh, are jellyfish amphibious? I don't think jellyfish are. I think jellyfish are plants. But... But frogs are, right? Oh dear. Uh, I would have been hella confused on how to change the colour of the frog, but I'm always down to learn. So the ones that I'm using on stream, they'll be saved as presets so that you can set them up relatively easily. But I have also got it set up so that you can change every single layer. Oh my god! Oh my god! Anime! Heck! Thank you so much! Did you have an accessory you wanted to add? Let me have a look-see, see if I can see it. Thank you so, so much! It's very hacking kind of you! Oh, 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 it's loading, it's loading! A boa ribbon! Oh yeah! A fancy, oh, a fancy ribbon! He's gonna be the best frog in the show! Oh my god! That'd be so cute! Oh dear, all right, let me let me add that to the list then. Thank you so much, anime! Oh dear, I've always been curious about, have, and, 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 blah, 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 curious about having an avatar, but the rigging scares me. The rigging is slow, but repetitive. So once you get used to it, it's actually not as bad as maybe you'd think it is. I find it very addicting. I really like rigging. I get very into it. All right, we need a, a ribbon so that he can be the best in the show. Oh dear, are jellyfish are plants? Kind of. So it depends, because obviously all jellyfish are a little bit different, but jellyfish are kind of like a weird in between you of a plant human, mainly because they're, they're more like coral. You know, like it, it, jellyfish and coral. I know coral is technically alive, but you know how like coral is like a plant? Jellyfish are very similar to coral. Yes. <laughs> Even though it's like a, an animal, technically. Yeah. Just think of jellyfish like coral. <laughs> Oh, there's a hello, hello, Ellie. I am, in fact, frog jelly today. Very wibbly frog. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. No, thank you, anime. It's very heckin' kind. I do also need paint, I think. I think that's the last one I need for the on-off switches. It'd be paint. Yes, I know. Sorry. There we go. So now I have my tattoos, suckers, ombre, stripes, stitches, patches, and paint. I think that's all of them. Hell yeah. Oh, dear. 
I have a Dumbo octopus squishy. <gasps> it's a squishmallow. Oh, hell yeah. Very cute. Like a sponge. Yeah, they are kind of like a sponge. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, they're like not quite animal, not quite plant. Kind of like coral. <laughs> Uh, because jellyfish can plant themselves also not all jellyfish do this but like some jellyfish when they're like injured or like you know to the point of like they can't keep swimming and stuff they'll sink to the bottom of the ocean plant themselves in and then grow more jellyfish and then they like basically just clone themselves so that once they get injured they're like well i guess i'll clone myself then <laughs> They're really cool, basically. I I'm not a marine biologist, but I do think jellyfish are pretty sick. Yeah. Ah, oh, I love watching Doctor uh, punches fish out of spine. <laughs> 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 jellyfish are gelatinous aquatic animals belonging to the soul. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Gav coming in with the science. Appreciate it. Uh, I got those turning. We got one as well. Oh my god, we have so many people with the same plushie. Hell yeah, we have both a frog army and an octopus army. Um, I am gonna do some, uh, some just quick physics parameters. So I'm gonna do probably head X and Y because I don't know what else you'd call it. Uh, so I need that from one, minus one to one. So it's a nice easy wobble. So head X and head Y. Oh, there you make me blue! Ba -ba -ba -ya -ba. How are you? I'm good, thank you, Pancake. I'm really good. Pancake, did you see at, uh, at, at $250, I will be doing, we're very close. I wouldn't be surprised if we'll hit it. I, I, I put it high up because I wanted it to be a little bit more difficult to reach, but at $250, I'll play Apex on stream. I've never played Apex before, <laughs> ever. <laughs> But a lot of people have been asking me to give it a go because I guess because I'm friends with a lot of people in Apex communities And I'm just like, I, I don't know how that's exactly happened But I was like, okay, if it's $250, I'll do it. <laughs> I won't be good though. It'll be embarrassing to watch <laughs> Just gonna put it out there. I have no like when somebody leaves my line of vision, they're just gone <laughs> Object permanence. I really struggle with object permanence <laughs> I can't track people. They want sale at my job. Oh my god! If I sold those, I I would have I would be inundated with octopus plushies. It would be in danger. I'd have so many. All right, we need tent X and Y as well. Even though they're like kind of squishy, we need all of those. Yes, I'll watch. <laughs> It, it's going to be very- so here's the thing. There's a couple people in chat who have watched me play FPS before. Um, actually, I can't remember if Sh uh, Shifty has. I think Shifty has. It's really bad. It's- it's- it, it is worse than you think it will be. I'm just really bad. I guess a good example would have been like when we were playing Dead by Daylight and I was playing as the killer, which I didn't do very often when I did. It's kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> Which I know a lot of people weren't here at that point, but it's like that level of bad. I'm just really not very good at it. Uh, we got Eye Sparkle. We got. Oh, well, we need any more. Look at these hidden secretive layers. Um, I don't know if I will need any more. All right, what I'm gonna do is then let me. Where's my. There they are. So, Stripe. Put this on Stripes. And at this point have it be invisible. So you have to turn it on and off. Uh, that's the moustache. We've already got the moustache. The head tattoo can go on tattoo two. Oh, I don't have a tattoo three on this one, do I? Delete that one then, that's fine. Uh, tattoo two, and then put it to zero at that side so that it turns on. You can't see it because everything has to be white for the paint job to work later. But uh, getting this done early means I won't forget to do it later. Uh, patches. See, I actually need to split this up, I think. Yeah. So this one's gonna be a bit of a pain because uh, I need stitches. If I do stitches one, there you go. Stitches. And then we need this one, this one, this one. Actually, wait, the outline can go in the stitches as well, can't it? Yes, yes it can. Is that on the same one? And then this is all for the main patch. All very complicated. Only thing I will need to get Valk when you have enough. What Valk? What is Valk? Who is Valk? Wait. I know Octane. I know people play Octane. Uh. <laughs> 
I know, I know. People get cracked and they also get boosted. I know. <laughs> I know. Hello, this is Welcome to Your Grandma Plays Apex. <laughs> I don't know what it even means. Um, uh, patches on patches. And then stitches on stitches. It's all pretty self-explanatory if you've labelled it correctly, to be fair. Uh, ombre is, in fact, on ombre. Uh, and then where's suckers? Where are suckers? Oh, they'll be on tentacle. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. They're on the tentacles. That's why. That's why. It hurts. You don't know who Val- Wait, do I- is Valk the one that like got the got the pack on their back and they fly up high and they look like kind of like Amelia Earhart? Is it that? <laughs> oh look, I'm gonna look. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the one that kind of looks like Amelia Earhart, right? Oh no, yeah. Well, actually no. Now that I look at them, they don't really look like Amelia Earhart at all. They just wear brown. <laughs> Oh, ignore me. Ignore me. It's the one that flies up and escapes, right? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yay! I think when I first started watching B, that was like the- Oops, sorry. That was the one they were playing a lot at the time. They look at like the- Yes, yes, that's that one. Oh, so very good luck with your call. I hope that it goes well. All right, now we need to get all the tent bits. So we have a lot of tentacles. Um, I need to also bring all that up. There you go. So we have a lot of tentacles. It's only really the front ones that will have anything that would put them like to the spots would be the suckers. These are all the little... <laughs> Look at all these invisible suckers. You like all these? Uh, <laughs> God, that looks really busy. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Um, so just have them all individually. Uh, the bottom... That does need to be separate. Stitches is, funnily enough, on stitches. Uh, patch outline is on stitches as well. Patch is on patch. I think that's everything. Outline, shading, spots, bottom, stitches. The patch bits. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's everything there. Are you think that? That's unheard of. Well, I'm pretty sure when I first started, it always is sarcasm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure when I first started watching B, which was, bear in mind, like two years ago. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what she was playing a lot of. Because she kept lifting everyone up in the air. Ah, oh, dear. Unless there's another one that lifts everyone up in the air, which there might be, to be fair. Ah, oh, dear. I remember there was another character that everyone hated when people played it, but I don't remember what it was. But it makes me nervous because I was like, I know there's a character that people people don't like it when you play that character, and it's like, but I don't know which character that is. <laughs> I just know that people don't like it. I don't want people to hate me. Oh dear. There you go. All right, that's two of them, and then this one. Oh, there's a lot of ledgers that people don't like. I'll need someone in- I, I'm gonna need to like talk to someone behind the scenes and be like, all right, so who is it safe to play? <laughs> who can I play that people aren't going to hate me for? Oh dear. Yeah, I've not- not only never played Apex on stream, I've just never played Apex full stop. So I am a complete noob when it comes to Apex. I will say I did- okay. Background history of Jelly. When I was but a t- ah! Oh, Ud! Good. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. You don't have the. Is that is that was that meant for charity or was it meant for me? Because I can I can send that on to the charity if that's what you wanted. That's very kind of you. Heck. Ah oh dear. Wah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, back in the day when I was a when I was a small but a small jelly bean, I I played a lot of Call of Duty. <laughs> I played a lot of Call of Duty to uh uh in like uh black ops uh black ops i played online in zombie mode and stuff like that all that kind of stuff i did a lot of that so <laughs> i used to be mid not good but mid i uh, but it's been a very long time oh dear uh stitches patch outline call of duty yeah i used to play a lot of call of duty <laughs> I like it. Oh no, you don't have to. I, I just wanted to make sure that it didn't end up in the wrong place because I can always pass it across, you know? 
I always thought that you would have at least played it, Pexanilla, because I've seen you in other <laughs> I've never played it. You know, you know you've become obsessed with something, but you've never, never done That's me. I just really like watching Apex. I don't play it. Oh uh, dear. I love how we all pronounce it like that. It's Call of Duty. That's how it's meant to be pronounced, I think. Call of Duty. But yeah, I used to go over to my friend's house and we'd play together and we'd play online and stuff. So like, we do a lot of that. And I will say that I was never as good as them. <gasps> Oh wait, add as well. Then do you do you have did you did you have an Excel? Let me let me uh, let me let me reload it. Let me reload it. Thank you so much, Erd. Oh, you didn't you didn't want uh, an accessory or anything. That's fair. That's fair. Um, you're all good. You, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> oh dear, bless you, Erd. Thank you so so much. It's very heckin' kind of you. Oh, I'm... hi. Those are my games. Why can't you see my games? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oh look, some video games. <laughs> Not Apex, <laughs> but a few others. <laughs> Why would it show you that? It's meant to be capturing a specific window. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I just clicked donate. I was just peeking it. Oh, bless you, Ed. That's very heckin' kind of you. Thank you so much. <gasps> oh my god, we're so close to Apex. God, we're like $20. <laughs> we got two days to raise $20 so that I embarrass myself live on stream. 10 out of 10. Oh dear. Uh, I always call it Call of Duty. Duty! Like dudes? Cute. I like Call of Duty as well. That's also cute. But I'm a Call of Duty main. <gasps> I'm a rainbow! Also a rainbow froggy! Yeah! Ah <laughs> uh, dear. Uh, it's Apex time! Ah! Oh uh, dear. I'm gonna, next time I tune into one of you guys' streams, I'm gonna have to be like taking notes. Being like, all right. So when they do that, the thing is, this isn't, and this isn't an insult to any of you, because obviously you're all very good at the game. But you do stuff so quickly that, like, you're opening boxes, taking specific items, jumping to the next box, highlighting something. I'm like, I didn't even see an item. <laughs> How did you do it so quickly? I'm sure, like, you've done it all before I've even seen the item. What the heck? Oh dear, it's very heckin' impressive. Uh. Uh, I think for you have one of it. Make frog with paint. No, it is in fact. Let me show you. Make frog with paint. It's frog with paint. Look at that. <laughs> it is in fact a frog with paint. <laughs> oh, I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're fine. Have a good BRB. Enjoy yourself. Mm, I'll be a frog with paint in the meantime. Uh, but there's little people play bed walls in Minecraft so far. Yeah, it's people just so speedy. Like, I can't keep up. Like, I, obviously it's a good thing because it means they're very good at the game. But it's like, whoo. Whoo. Oh, dear. It looks very hard. Oh. There we go. And uh, there. Okay, so that should be... I think everything now is in its thing. So unless we turn it on... See, like now we we can't click the uh, we can't click any of the suckers, but if I turn suckers on, we should be able to click them. There, there they are. Now, now they exist, but then they stop existing when I do that. So, it's it's just useful for being able to click certain things. I like it. Oh uh, dear, I like the patch for Rainbow Froggy. Yeah, Q Frog lost the paper patch. Yeah, like a crafty. Uh, he's a player I never want to. So I think I'm too slow as well for that kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like to be good at it, but I just, nah. Slow reflex is not gonna happen. All right, there we go. Okay, so everything now is in its little things. We've got a few a few physics to add to later, but we're not quite ready for physics yet. So what I want is to, we've got body base, we've got tense. So body base is all of this. <laughs> this is the body base. <laughs> cursed oh dear but yeah this is the bit that i want to work on first because it's the base of the body i just put it back over there it looks fine when it's in with the tentacles it's only when you take it out of the tentacles that it looks a little funky oh dear i was on the command and conquer i did okay a few single player scenarios for any of the half decent human yeah that's that's me yeah yeah me and me and most games honestly all right so we want to have all of the body base and then i'm going to do this initially on 
uh, X and Y. I'm gonna do X first though, because I think X is a bit harder personally, with like a circular object. And I'm gonna split it up a little bit more. And can I? I kind of want to be right in the middle of the circle. I think that's okay. Yeah. And then here we go. Turn them left and right. Oh god. Okay. Put that there. And then make sure these ones go out a little bit too. And then in there. Move that down there. It's just a lot of very careful, very careful wiggling. That we don't go too far and ruin it by accident. I might move his face a little bit to the left and right as well, but I think that's a pretty good base. Yeah, he looks okay. I think actually he needs to. There you go. There you go. Now he's looking to the side a little bit, a little tiny bit. And then we do the same thing on the other side. It's just like very carefully picking the point and being like, eh, teeny tiny, eh, 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 eh. Okay, get that in there. And then get that one out there. And out there. And then make sure to move this one that way. Move this one this way. Let's go a little further, there you go. And squish that in there a little bit. And then... There we go, look at that, now you can turn! <laughs> we gotta start, we gotta start there. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, I do think his face specifically needs to go a little bit left and right, uh, which I'll need to find the layers that are specifically his face. Uh, so we have eyes, tash, mouth. I think actually that would be it. So let's do this as, I'll call it face, even though he kind of has a lot more face than that. We're gonna call that face. And then that way when we do this, we can have this just move a little bit this way to help emphasize that he is looking left and right. Look at that. There we go. He's a wiggling now. I think that's probably all we need to do, really. Let me just remember, double check that the mouth still looks... Oh God. So grumpy, so grumpy. Okay, yeah, I think that works. We do need a little bit of an up and down. He does technically already have an up and down. Oh, his eyes don't need to go that far. Oh, who put your eyes down that far? Put like there. There you go. There you go. So we do already have that, but we need like the whole head to do it a little bit as well. So if I go to body base and do this, and then we'll just... Oh wait, I've got it in the middle. I've got it in the middle. We don't want to do that. No, no, no. We want to go down. There you go. And push it down a little bit. So again, this isn't the physics. This is where it'll actually stay after physics have taken place. <gasps> Dang it, make it be a rainbow! Hell yeah! So it'll stay there. And then on this side, just put it up a little bit, maybe. Not too much. Yeah, because I don't think I want the up and down to be too dramatic. If I then mix these together and synthesize the corners, we should get... Look at that. He's looking. I should save it. I have yet to save. There you go. A little save quickly. But now he can look around. He can he can emote with us. Yay! It's actually a little bit easier than on the frog as well because the frog's kind of I can't have the eyes moving that far to the left and right because you know, frog body, <laughs> eyes kind of stuck there. But yeah, he can have like a little bit more movement and he can whoop 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 whoop. Hell yeah! Look at that go. Very cool. Actually, one thing I do want to check, just because I knew there was an issue previously. Let me check on the paint. I do this. I think it 
make her a little bigger. It's just really, really close to the edge. I might, since the paint itself is not, mm, okay, no. We're just gonna add one here, just because I want to, I want to change the paint a little bit, and I wanna clip it to the, the, the inside of the head. So what we'll do is we'll do this, put that there, and I'm actually just gonna make the paint a little bit bigger. So it's probably gonna technically be outside there now, yeah. And then what I'm gonna do is find the head base. <laughs> it's somewhere in here. Uh, there it is, body base. Copy that. Go into the paint. And just clip it there so that you can't see it because unfortunately the paint is, <laughs> is very invisible. Uh, how can I make it visible? I guess if I make the body hidden. There you go, now you can see it. Um, but you do that there. And then do the same with this one. Does that exist? I think it does. I can't see it though, which is weird. Oh, there you go, there you go. Okay. I was gonna say, I think it exists. Uh, so now you won't see it on the outside. Oh, wait, you can still kind of see it though. Why can I still see it there? Hmm. That's weird. Did it not work? No, it did. If I... Yeah, I can still see it out there, which is weird. It should be clipped to the inside of it. Hmm. Is it meant to be the other way around, maybe? Ooh, problem solving. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have forgotten. Um... Why is it that I can see it on the outside when it should be clipped to the inside? It's definitely there. But I can see that. Hmm. Is it because that's... Oh, it is literally because that's hidden. Okay, I'm an idiot. Ignore me. I am I'm a stupid. I'm a stupid. Ignore. Oh, dear. Have an amazing day. Take care. Oh dear. Take care. Take care, Pancake. Thank you so much for popping by. Also, I should actually do some shout outs probably. Sorry, I am I'm I am historically terrible at shouting people out. If you haven't checked out Pancake before, very, very talented streamer, definitely send them some love. They also do Apex, as well as obviously other games. They're doing some horror, it sounds like. Uh, if you haven't checked out anime, a very, very talented maker and crafter, they've been making eventy cosplay from Genshin. Uh, is there anybody that I can think of that I have missed? Probably, probably. But at least I got two. <laughs> it's better than nothing. I'm sorry, I'm really bad. I'm really, really bad at uh, shout outs. I don't intend to be bad at it. I just get so distracted. <laughs> All right. I think that means we got our looking around good. Alatar's crazy game series. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> It's a weird and it's a weird and for sure scary. It is scary, yeah. Oh dear. Bonk, 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 bonk. Yeah, I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me just double check that he can nod good. Hell yeah. Okay. Um. Then we need the tentacles. Let's see. These will probably have to be individual. I don't know if they're gonna move that much though. I guess they kind of would. I might group them here, which is to have tentacle. No, actually there's no point is that. They might move with X. I don't think they would move with Y to be quite honest, but they might move with X. So let's put them on as if they're moving with X. And we'll just do that. And then you can see the, the, the back bit of that bit that you're not meant to see. Uh, and then, okay, I'll cover it again with this one. You'll never see it, there you go. And then, uh, it's, which one have I not done? This one. I don't know if it's necessary, but it's all right, I don't hate it. 
I think I'd like them to flop a lot, so I don't think it'll make a big difference, but I guess if you were, you were sat looking in that direction for a long time, it makes sense that would be the case. Uh, let me just also get this one out a little bit. There you go. And then get this one in a little bit. Yeah, like, I think it would make sense a little bit. Uh, I do think that this one is a little bit high. Okay, and then this side, we need to do the opposite, which is then do this. And this. And then this one. And then this one. And then the back one, and make it go in. And then this one, come out. Yeah, I think it makes a little sense that they would move a little bit, even if it's not quite as dramatic. Yeah, okay, okay. Sleeves, good morning, Sleeves. Look, I'm frog now. I've become frog. I've been overtaken by frog. It's frog jelly now. It's frog time. Hell yeah. Oh dear. I'm gonna have a sip of my drink, so I'm gonna look a bit weird for a minute. Mm. You want me to play plain white? I can be plain white. Hell yeah. I'm a doodle, a proper doodle frog. Oh dear. Jelly frog! Yeah! Jelly frog! Alright, we're doing that. We're doing a, a, an octopus at the moment. Yeah, I think that the Y will, will be more physics involved for the... Yeah. But that makes a bit of sense. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. It looks a little stiff right now, but we'll add physics to it. Um, but what, what physics do I need? Um, I guess we could quickly... No, I want to get tentacles. I want to do the tentacles first, I think. I think they desperately need it. A ghost frog! Well, this is what I look like... Like, th th when I'm the same as how jelly, like, this this uh, octopus is now, without any colouring in, this is what it looks like. Yee! Which I still like. Oh, actually, I've just noticed. A uh, head, shine, sign, shine, uh, X it'll be. Up that one as a physics. I'll need that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now I'm a horror frog! <laughs> Except it's not it's not blood, it's just ketchup. I have been rolling around in ketchup. <laughs> I'm a ketchup frog. Yeah. Oh dear. Whoa. Yeah, good for Halloween. Ketchup frog. Alright. I think then we'll have to add new things for all of these, but I can do that. So first of all, let's do tent our back. And I'm gonna call the first one X, or not C, X. Create. Or tent X. So when it goes this way, I'll like flop out a little bit. I do a little floppy. Oh. And then when he comes back in again. There you go, he's center as well. Yeah! Boing, 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 boing. Oh, you play scary games? True! Yeah, speaking of actually, how are we doing on the horror poll? So, just so everyone is aware, when people are donating, some of them are putting it towards entering a poll for the horror game that we're going to play on stream. And let's have a look. How are we doing in the polls right now? Oh, I can't see it here. God damn it. I have to look at the other page. There you go. It is currently... Mortary Assistant is still in the lead. I think FNAF got a couple of votes, but uh, Mortary Assistant is still in a pretty fair lead right now for uh, for <laughs> for who is go what, what game we're going to play on stream because we've already hit that target, which means we are playing that game. That that's that's happened. Oh heck! Oh, Nods, thank you so much for the for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Uh, dear. we're making free community VTuber models, so we'll be putting these in the Discord and you can download them for free. Okay, that's fine. He's a little wibbly. God damn it is- I think God damn it is okay. It's more like, uh, the words I'm not gonna say, I guess, which is swearing. Like, think of, like, PG movie and, like, you can say God damn it in a PG movie, you- you can't swear more than once. 
<laughs> like proper swears. So yeah, think of it like that. Because Twitch is 13 up anyway. Although it might get shown to younger kids, I guess. Wow. There we are. I am quite in a in a, a fortunate position. So I have like very much a list of the things that you can and cannot do. I'm not going to share it because uh, I had this from a previous event. But basically, if you're doing like a P, I'm putting it in, in quotation, you can't see it. But a PG stream, there are very specific rules uh, because it's stuff like Twitch will have you organize these events kind of thing or do take part in these kind of events. And I've taken part in three for Twitch. So, yeah, I'm pretty solid. I'm pretty solid. Like, I don't want to toot my own horn too much, but I know the rules pretty well. Oh dear. There we go. You don't have to worry. I'm uh, I'm pretty good at this sort of thing. <laughs> I have few skills in life. One of them is reading rules and following them. <laughs> That's my skill. I'm really good at reading rules. <laughs> it's okay. No, I don't worry. I just don't want people to be worried. Like, oh my god, Jelly, is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? Like, yeah, don't worry. I've read the rules. I'm very aware. I'm, I'm a well-informed frog. <laughs> he looks like he's boogie and he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, we need the rest of them as well. It looks a bit silly when it's just those. All right, so we need, I'm keeping their names the same just because I might need to find them later. But X for this. <gasps> I'm poisonous now. I'm good at following rules, just not the reading. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good at following instructions. <laughs> My special skill is is following instructions. Yes. Thank you for making me a poisonous frog. Hell yeah. The poison. Oh dear. Get up, have a lovely luck. Take care of yourself. Oh dear. Get some good Z's or good snacks. Probably Z's, I'd imagine. But I would take a good snack. Oh. I think it needs to be down a little bit more, actually. I think actually the one over there might need to be down a little bit more as well. And then just... Have that one come up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I might actually go back to this one really quickly and just have that be down a bit more, actually. There you go. And have that one go up a little bit more. And then do the same for this one. Just have this come down a little bit more, actually. I want the match. I want a match. I want a match. Matchy, matchy. Nice, nice. Get that matching there. There you go. And then have that one go up. Yes. That's better. Yeah, Poison Frog, yeah, it was one of the suggestions from chat yesterday because uh, I, I left stream when I was I was going to have to re-export the file and it takes like 15 minutes because <laughs> when I'm streaming my computer just can't handle the extra work so I was like rather than do that live on stream I'll just, you know, do that off stream and quickly do all the colours but what colours do you guys want to see? And one of the colours that people wanted was, uh, was a Poison Frog I think it was a Dark Frog specifically but it's like the kind of idea that it's like a poisonous frog. So, yes. So we did it. Oh, cancel. That's fine. We don't need to change the parameter settings. Parameter settings are good. Oh, dear. And then just wiggle that out a little bit. And back up again. There we go. Yeah. I might actually take this one and just on this bit, just take it up a little bit. It's a little heavy on the bottom there. Oh, don't rotate it. That's going to confuse everything. No, just do that. Yeah. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> okay. Now on the other side. <laughs> We have that, we have that. Oh dear. And X. And so it's basically the opposite of the ones we're just doing. 
which is if that when that one goes down this one goes up so it's kind of like a little mexican wave kind of situation where everyone's like whoop and going all the way around hell yeah nice oh there it is oh thanks for making me standard <laughs> yeah that's the other one people asked for wasn't it? it was just a standard frog they just wanted a frog a frog without all of the bells and whistles just a normal frog please so i made one normal frog <laughs> oh dear honestly it's probably good to have at least one that's like a, a recognizable frog to be fair I love leaving voice calls. My phone anxiety appreciates it so much. Ah, hell yeah. I love it when people leave me voicemails because then I know that I need to call someone back because if you don't leave me a voicemail, I'll never respond. <laughs> I just don't. It's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know who you are. I just won't respond. Oh my God, I'm a rainbow. Hell yeah. Nah, I'm a rainbow. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, dear, that's so cute. Thank you. Yeah, so you can, you can customize them yourself or you can use one of the presets that I've made. Uh, both is fine, but we'll, we'll be dropping it in the Discord, so if you want this model, you can have it. It's gonna be free for anyone, as long as you're in the Discord, just because it's the only place that allows me to drop file sizes that big. <laughs> oh dear. I need somewhere I can drop a heckin' hefty file. Ah, uh, and that is the space. That's, that I can do that. Did I, you know what? I literally got a disco, disco? Disco Nitro. Discord Nitro. I literally got Discord Nitro specifically because it was useful for sending models and stuff across and the standard one wasn't big enough so I couldn't send models with it. So I got Disco Nitro. Dis Discord, not Disco Nitro. I got Discord Nitro specifically to send VTuber models to people. <laughs> Look at that! There you go. He's flippy floppy. Oh, thank you for making me a frog with the paint. Oh dear. Frog with the paint kind of reminds me of like boots with the fur. <laughs> and the whole club was looking at her. Uh, which is a song that I will forever love. <laughs> it's bad. It's No, it's not a bad song. It's a great song. Oh dear. I was about to diss my own taste in music there, but I changed my mind. Okay, oh my god, a blue! <laughs> I'm changing so quickly. Bum, 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 but I have a mustache. Oh, there you go. That's good. Okay. Now we need to do the same thing again, but with Y. They have all of these. Let's make them all Y appropriate now, which I'm going to do on a separate layer, actually. Oh, I'm going to get this backwards again, aren't I? I always get it backwards. Is it big on this side, small on this side? God, I can't remember. I mean, it doesn't matter because it's only going to be tense on this. I can just flip them. Now I've seen all the options. I was asked about to, about to ask about the mustache. It's my mustache. There it is. Frog with a mustache. <laughs> Who doesn't love a frog with a mustache? Yeah. Okay. Oh, where am I? There I am. Okay, so I need to go. I'm going to say this is out. And then I'm going to say the other one's in, and if I'm wrong, I'll flip them. I'll flip them, it'll be fine. There you go. Miss Piggy Free. Yay! I didn't make a Kermit frog. I should have made a Kermit frog, god damn it. I mean, we have like the stitches. I guess you could make a Kermit frog pretty easily. You can make him look all stitched and patched and stuff. <laughs> oh dear, my name went straight to rainbow, but you definitely could do it, a Kermit. All right, I need this one. And we think this side, it goes in. And then like so. And then we need it to come out. There you go. What? There you go. Oop. No, maybe like that. Yeah. So this is very similar to what we just did, except rather than it going left to right, it's like up and down. 
which is like like when my legs go boing 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 that's me nodding so it'll be like the same thing but with the tentacles yeah <laughs> but you want to have it the right way otherwise it looks like your arms are like zooming into your body for some reason <laughs> in this case i guess it'd be kind of like that with tentacles but it just looks weird uh like left and right's pretty easy but the, the, i always forget which way y goes round You'd think at this point I'd remember. It's been like two years. I still don't remember. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. That was a very quiet hiccup. All right. Up. There we go. Eden. Months of madness, Eden. Holy macaroni! Holy macaroni! Eden, look! I'm a frog! <laughs> thank you so much for the 15 months! That's very heckin' kind of you! Heck! Thank you! Welcome on in! We are making the second one of the, uh, of the, of the beans now. It's second bean o'clock. So we have to- oh. Oh yeah, we have to go out this time. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I got confused for a second there. I confused myself. I hope you're doing well though! Welcome on in! Yeah, we are, we are once again doing VTuber shenanigans, but now I am a frog. <laughs> so arguably the stream has improved 100% since you were last here because I have become a frog. Oh dear. Not only a frog, I have a, I'm a frog with a moustache. I'm a powerful frog. Yeah. I'm gonna go snack now, oh, you! <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> You're right though, look at me. I'd eat me. Actually, no, maybe not a blue frog. I feel like, I feel like that might be asking for trouble. Cause I feel like blue, blue doesn't really exist super a lot in the wild, unless they're like poisonous. Like I, I feel like I associate like blue and purple more with like, probably shouldn't eat. Except for blueberries, blueberries are good. But like, as far as animals go, do this one. Oh, I've highlighted one of them again. That'll be highlighted till the end of stream now. <laughs> I don't know how to stop it. There we go. There we go. I'm French, I'm immune to poison frog. Really? That's a hell of a superpower. Oh dear. I think that I, at this point, might be immune to gone off milk. A story nobody wants to hear, but... <laughs> I think I think I have drunk God off milk so many times at this point that it if anything I don't even notice it because I'm lactose intolerant anyway right so I, I feel like I don't notice it any more than like what I would normally drink so I think I have I think I have over time gained an immunity to gone off milk oh dear God off milk I know I know the thing is, I don't have the best sense of taste uh, and smell and stuff. So like when it comes to if, if it doesn't visibly look gone off, I, I really these I used to be able to tell really easily. But like as an adult, I find it a little bit harder to tell. And so <laughs> I have had gone off, gone off uh, milk quite a few times and it doesn't make me ill. Anymore. <laughs> I'm just fine. Oh, dear. I'm back in a muted tone. So it's the same kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Especially in university, because we'd have shared milk, which... Ugh, the shared milk. The shared milk. The shared milk was a grim situation. Maybe it's not like that for everyone, but... Oh my god, a bop. Wait, I need to turn it up. Sorry. You hear that now? No, it needs to be louder. Yeah! <laughs> Such a good OST! <laughs> oh yeah, you need you need this one up. This one, I don't care if I'm drowned out by the music if it's super hexagon, you know? It's so intense. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> There'll be a sauna they call I'm going to- wait, really? There's a sauna- oh no, it will be a sauna. Or like, they're going to have like an actual sauna at the convention because- What? A sauna? <gasps> oh my god. 
I don't think I've ever seen a sauna at a convention. An actual sauna. Oh my god. That's so cool. Weirdo alert. Wait! Who, what, who are you calling a weirdo? You don't like this? You don't like my music? You don't like my tunes? What's wrong with my tunes? I'll fight you, I'll fight you! I'll fight you over the heckin' super hexagon soundtrack. It doesn't take very much, honestly. I'm a violent frog. It's so good! No, I mean weird about the sauna. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'd go. No, but here's the thing. Okay, Eden, Eden. You ever worn a costume that makes your muscles ache super, super badly and you do it like early on? Say you like, you accidentally wear like the hardest to wear costume on like Friday and then, and then you're like, oh my God, you know, whoa, like <laughs> my muscles ache now. It's a shame that there's not like a sauna. Oh my God, I want to go. I mean, but it looked believable. Oh, it's not an actual sauna. Oh, it's just because it's really hot. Okay, I was gonna say, that's kind of what I assumed initially, but I like the idea that there would be like a massage place at the convent. Listen, if a masseuse wants to go to like Comic-Cons, cosplayers would appreciate it. <laughs> that's what I did after TwitchCon. The f the, like literally the day after TwitchCon on the Monday, <laughs> we had a one hour massage. <laughs> I booked it in because I was like, I know my muscles are gonna be killing me. So like, let me book myself. Oh, yeah Hell yeah Oh my god, basically the whole you know, maybe it'll be good for your muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to look on the positive side. Hey, maybe your muscles will appreciate how uncomfortably hot the convention is. <gasps> Rainbow! Yeah, thank you. Now I'm a proper rave frog. Hell yeah. Thank you. Oh dear. Do need to do something. <laughs> I am completely abandoning work just to groove to the super hexagon soundtrack. Super enjoying itself. The frog's having a great time. Oh my god. Okay, and then in. Oh dear. And up there. Oh, oh, oh. no, 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 no. Right, Look at that! Yeah! Now you can dance as well. It looks a little bit stiff right now though. Uh, you're wearing body paint? Oh god. <laughs> oh, good luck! Good luck! You got this. Alright, I need to save it. I've done work. You want to do some physics? Oh, actually, should we do the head first? <laughs> If, if we don't hit like the ten the ten donations that uh, that ask for a um, ask for a thing, I might add just like rave glow sticks <laughs> as as my accessory of choice. <laughs> like, yeah, I can attach them to my little froggy hand and just be like, yeah. 
<laughs> that might be my one. Oh dear. All right, body base. This is the right one. <laughs> yeah, this. Dun, dun. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. All right. I need this one. I've already got it on there. So we need uh, ooh, head wiggle X. Oh, actually, do you have a? Well, you don't have a Z yet, do you? We should probably put you a Z in, huh? Yeah, you don't. Okay, it's gonna be a bit hard, actually. Second beat of the model. What else happened to this small rave? <laughs> oh, it's the. Yeah, okay, it's Jester. I see, I see. Dun, dun, dun. You know what? It's true. It is important to hydrate in the middle of a rave. Let me do that. <laughs> oh dear. I'm a color changing frog right now. For charity! Always type of water. Yeah, especially as an amphibious being. I require water. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, we have that now. Okay. Now what I need is... Head... X. Which is for the head X down here. Uh, and I might want... No, not like that. That was fine, actually. Yeah, I want... Yeah, I'm thinking to have it like this because I don't want to move the bottom of the face. So actually, before I do anything with this, let's just add that in because that way I can move this up. So like... Here. There you go. That's about where I want it. So that I can like move these bits. And then just wiggle it across without having to worry about it like moving the the bottom as much i don't mind it moving it a little bit but i don't want it to be most i want most of the, the movement to come from the top there you go there we are there we are this is what we want we want it to look like his head is bobbling around because he doesn't have a bobbly belly like the uh like the no bobbly belly instead we have bobbly head Bring this out. Might be a bit tall. Bring them down a bit. Ah! <laughs> there he goes. And then we need head Y. Head Y. Wobbly head. Yeah, he's gonna have a wobbly head. It's important. Head Y. Uh, which way did we do Y before? Uh, I can check with this. Okay, so this side we did in. So let's do... Like so... And then... Out. It's a bit more subtle because it wouldn't go that far, but I think that's okay. Yeah, yeah. And then we need head shine. Pitch on this bit. Mm. He must have turned. 
I'll probably go up the head, right? And pull it out a little bit. So it looks a little bit messier. And then so and then down there and then just stretch that out there you go make it look a little bit less neat neat and organized no neatness here thank you yeah more ginger beer <laughs> Oh dear, boingy head. I started a new business selling ginger beer. Found my first customer at a shop in town who asked for 12. I started writing down 12 bottles. You already know 12 cases. <gasps> Woo! Hell, this is like a Wallace and Gromis problem. <laughs> oh my god, hell yeah. Lashing some ginger beer for everyone. Hell yeah. All right, let me just disable this quickly. Hell yeah. Oh, congratulations on the success though. That's very cool. Uh, no, I don't want Photoshop right now. Thank you anyway, gay. Thank you anyway. I don't want it. There you go. Okay, this is with no physics right now. Let's do I sparkle uh, R. And this will be for I open R. So that we can have. Oh, that's left, that's why. I was gonna say, wait a second. Wait, what? Oh, I got another one. Uh, I need. Wait. Oh, it's backwards. Okay, sure. That won't be confusing later. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, they the other. We're only doing the two sleeves. We're only doing two because tomorrow we're going to be designing all of the accessories on the stream. So yeah, we were originally going to do three, but we are sticking to just two now. So we're just doing the two that you see. Gotta go to work. Oh no, you're fine. Take care, Ethan. Good luck. I hope it goes well. But yeah, you get this little like, look at that, like, boing, 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 boing. Okay, I'm just gonna duplicate this for I uh, L, even though my L and my my L and my R are backwards, but I think it's okay. Uh, take this one, put it at I R open, and take this one and put it I L sparkle. There you go. Nice. Now I can both do that, and then add. Let's do tent X. That's ten X. Tent X. So we'll add that quickly in there. This will be on X, Y, and, and Z. Um, X and Y, yeah, that's what I want it. So I want this one to be like at uh, probably actually even higher than 80. Put a 90, put that at 10. And then actually put this one at like 60. Okay. Add this to Tent X. Way! <gasps> Look at this! He wiggles. Uh, you wink or blinking? Well, technically, it will be a blink, but right now it's a wink. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's other faces. Just TBT. Astro, good morning. I hope you're doing well. I are open. Yeah, I'd say they are. Yeah, they look pretty open. I are open. Um, I was going to quickly duplicate this, but this was for tent Y now. Well, you just need to swap some stuff around. So put this to tent Y, and then switch them. So put this one down to tent. Put that one to there. There we are. Look at him go! 
He's so wiggly! <laughs> Yay! Oh, dear, I love him. Add now head X. And this will be, again, kind of all of these. Uh, put this one to like just 10 or something. You're not gonna let me do 10. Oh, there you go, I was gonna say. Let me do 10. Oh, this one relatively high again. And then quickly pop in a pendulum for now. And this is for head X. You've got a little wobbly brain now. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then add head Y. Add X, Y, Z again. But this time have X be really, really small and have Y go the whole way up. And I don't think we need as much on that one. That's like, oh wait, no. And then add head Y. Look at that! He's so wiggly! Oh my god! He's so cute! <laughs> I honestly, I actually quite like the default settings. Normally, I change them a lot, but these are really good. Um, head shine, shine. Let's do the eyes. Uh, add that in. Head shine will be on X and Z, probably. Don't imagine it be on Y as much. So put it to like a hundred percent on X. Put it pretty high on there as well. And then add head shine. Oh, it's backwards. Okay, the, the head shine is backwards, I think. See how it looks kind of janky and weird? I think it also would need to be a lot longer, there you go. Yeah, it's backwards. Okay, let me, let me quickly get that and we'll just flip it over. So if I do this, I can do select, reflect. And then if I go back into modeling and get it so you guys can see it again. There you go, that's better. Yeah! Look at him go! Hell yeah. He's very cute, okay. I don't know if he might be ready for a first test, maybe? Mm. The only thing actually, wait a second. Where are the tents? I'm gonna have the tents at maximum wiggle for now. I want them to wiggle for longer than the rest of it, you know? He's meant to be really wobbly, he's a blob. Hell yeah. Cute! Oh, I love him! I love him! He's so wibbly wobbly! Alright, I will need to make a texture atlas. Let's see if it's going to let me do... <laughs> uh, this is a bit... Not that it won't let me do it, but... Um, it's quite CPU heavy. So I want to select everything. And... I want to save it really quickly first, just in case it does crash, actually. And then create a texture atlas and it's going to think about it. Oh, is it not doing it automatically? What is this? What is this? What? What? Oh no, it's not. Okay, cancel, cancel, cancel. Yes, oh dear, this might be a problem. How do I, how do I get it to do all of them into one? If I do this... Yeah, it's too big. Right? Oh, shoot. Cancel the... Oh, dear. Okay, so normally this automatically sets it up for you. They're even making me rainbow. 
Actually, I'm gonna turn the music down just like. So <gasps> Purple! Heck! Thank you so much! Oh my god, let me double check. I wanna see if you even have a thing that I can add to the list. Thank you so, so much. That's very hacking kind of you. Let's have a look. You would like a monocle. We can do a monocle. That's cute. Hell yeah, we can do a monocle. Okay, let me just type that down. And then I'll explain why I'm having the issue here. Mon... How do you spell monocle? Oh, there you go. Monocle. There you go. Monocle's a hard word to spell. Thank you so, so much. Wait, does that mean we're only 10 away now from... We are! We're only 10 about... Uh, $10 away! Oh, dear. $10 away from heckin' Apex stream. Oh, dear. Can I have a monocle with a bow? Yeah! And a jester hat. <laughs> and glow sticks. All right, how can I do this so that, that you're not a butt? I guess I can manually do it. Oh god. Like, why are these here? Like, what? If I delete... Because they should all be in the same one. Am I crazy? What's happening here? No eyes in that one. This is the eye. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Thing is, I don't think this is a big enough texture atlas because it's not, it has not given me the option. Actually, relatively big. But I'm gonna have to shrink that down. That's too. What the heck? Okay. Uh, do you want to cancel? I do want to cancel it. Oh dear. Are those ones on the vector. Yeah, yeah. These are all the the texture bits all overlapping. It looks really good when they're like this. <laughs> I'll be very fancy. It does, thank you. I love the frog. I wonder if I might need to actually look up a tutorial on how to fix this. <laughs> I don't know why it's done it, weirdly. I've never had this issue before. But uh, it's weird that it's doing it like this because it's, normally it would give you the option of the size of your texture at it ahead of time and it would scale the object so that so you weren't putting in an object and it just taking up the whole space. Um, so what I might do, would you guys be okay if I ended stream and then maybe came back again after, after lunch and I could just look up a couple of tutorials on how to fix this? Would that be alright? Would you be okay with that? Because I think otherwise I might be kind of stuck on this one and I do want to get him finished today. So I think what I might do, and then, yeah, only for like an hour or two, and then I'll hopefully come back and I'll, I'll have found a way of fixing it and then we can colour him in together. So I think it might just have to be a two-parter of a stream today. Sorry about that, because <laughs> I do want to get him finished. But I also, uh, I'm, I don't think I have the relevant knowledge <laughs> that I need to solve this problem. So rather than having you just watching me like in tech support mode, I'll leave for a couple hours and I'll come back. I wonder who is live that I can quickly raid everyone into? Um, just for a quick, a quick speedy, speedy raid and dash. Oh, Dem's, Dem's live. I can send you all over to Dem. Uh, that's good, that's good. We can do that. Dem's playing some Dead by Daylight right now. Dem is also one of our moderators. You can also get some food. True, I can... Brain food. Brain food for brain power. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll be back in a couple of hours. Unless anything really dramatic... Oh, thank you for making me a horrific frog. A Dead by Daylight frog! Just in case anything dramatic happens, I'll let you know in the Discord. But otherwise, I should be back in a couple of hours to, to and we can colour him in. It will also mean that we can render it off stream, which is good because it takes a lot less long if I'm not live while I'm doing that part. So it's not it's not the worst in the world. I apologise for taking a bit of a break, but we can work out. You just raid him into the Oh, really? Hell yeah! Well, we'll be raiding him as well. Also us. Ah, oh, dear. Otherwise, grab a raid call if you fancy. I'll be back in a couple of hours and I'll see you all soon. Take care!